Hey guys, it's your girl Wandika, originally from Jamaica. And remember in that last video where I showed you this journal but I didn't show you inside? That's what we're going to do today. Alright, so as you know or as you can tell, this one was made from a cookie box. Normally, I cover it, cover it, cover it and completely transform it so you don't know that it was a cookie box. But I, I like the effect. It sort of gives it this graffiti underneath the um, tissue paper. And this is some Tim Holtz tissue paper that I had. I ran out of that. But I like the overall look. And just to give you an idea, I won't do a complete tutorial because I have a tutorial about how to make a journal from a cereal box. So it's basically the same. But just to let you know why I like using these boxes, because you already have a built-in spine. That's what I like. I mean, I can create my own spine, which I've done. But this is kind of nice. You already have a built-in spine, you know. And then all I have to do is bolster it using some harder board cover it you know and sometimes i add like a napkin to a mud podge on some napkin to give it um maybe an interesting vintagey look it all depends sometimes i keep it like this if i just want a basic basic journal and just to give you an idea here is one that's like almost done this is the cover I used some gesso and some acrylic paint to give it. This was a Quaker Oats box. And if you can look closely, you can see that it has like measurements and so on. You know, so I am liking keeping some of the image from the original box. Because what's the point then if you're just going to completely obliterate it? I think sometimes you can do that. And sometimes if you want to preserve what was underneath it and let it add to the overall look, you can do that. So I'm going to sew this in. It's really, I like how it feels. It's kind of flexible because it's bored and it's not like the super, super hard cover but I like this about it. So I'm going to show you inside. So this is sort of like a mini journal in use video. And because I have been using this for June. Um, all right. So I have a pocket in the beginning. This is when my mom came to take care of me after my surgery. And I have a little pocket in the front. I got this dream catcher stamp and I had this and I thought I was just testing it out but I was like hmm, maybe I can put this in here right um, so just trying a different thing because before um, from January to me I was using a different kind of planner um, format where I had a pocket in the beginning made from a manila folder so I'm trying something different for the rest of the months and Let's just see where it goes. Of course, we have our pocket. We have the calendar, and the calendar is attached to pocket. This okay. now I have used um, absorbent ground, which is supposed to make it um, a surface for watercolors. So I'm gonna test this it's out later today for creating acrylic and traditional watercolor washes on gessoed surface so I gessoed it using this then I put this on it so it's gonna I'm gonna test it to see if it works just as good as the usual watercolor paper okay, and I I'll just show you the rest the rest is just regular paper there are no pockets or anything because for this kind of journal I like to make things as I go along I'm just gonna make things as I go along so I may add a pocket here, I may put a sticker there, I may put a picture there. But I don't want to box myself in. And I have some papers, it's bill, just to remind myself to pay this bill. You know, so that kind of stuff. So, and I love this book. <laughs> and the good thing about it is other than the other journal that I told you about, I carry it around and it doesn't get grungy or anything. It's, you know, because I um, used the glossy sealer. So I just really love this little book 
that's why I really want to make more and I know when I go to the grocery store I actually go for those things that have boxes rather than bags so that I can keep making these kinds of journals rather than the altar recently book. went to like the dollar store and I got this book and I loved the sturdiness of it and you know I do that as well bolster the spine do it and include the the um, pages you take all the inside etc etc but I'm liking this type of journal as well where I make it from a box a food box so just to go quick, quickly so you can just see the papers because there's nothing else in here no, no stamping no pockets yet but it's a mixture of everything, some Tim Holtz paper, some regular book leaves, tea dyed paper, construction paper, you know. Um, that's it. And I think this is going to take me to August. This might take me to August. These are just basic, basic, basic journals. Um, one YouTuber called them blank, these blank books naked because normally there'd be stamping and tuck spots and um, stickers and all kinds of different paper, but this is just just tea dyed paper sewn in and you can do whatever you want with them so thinking of posting this on my website I don't know if there is um, as much interest in these because they don't have that much excitement in it you are gonna have to be the one to add that to it so we'll see so sometimes people just want, I mean, I think sometimes people just want somewhere to write, you know, and get a pocket. So this has pockets, but it doesn't have any tags and stuff like that. That's it. You do it. You add stuff, you stamp in it, you draw in it, you paste things in it. Um, so I've made a number of these naked journals. Alright, this one has more interest. Yeah. This one has book pages as well. So, yeah, we'll see. So, if you are interested in naked journals, let me know. I mean, and I'll post it on my website. I was just like saying, what am I going to do with all my scraps? That, um, maybe I can make one of those kind of journals. This one is really, really small. You could just like to be jotting down lists, grocery store lists, you know, or maybe it's somewhere to keep quotes. The sky is the limit, whatever you want to do. Here's one that I'm working on. This one I haven't done anything stamping or so on, but just to give you a little preview. definitely going to add some stuff to this in my usual fashion so that's what I've been but anyway on. guys thank you so much for watching I'm gonna go make a list in my journal I'll see you guys next time what good